Hey, we're still in this cave. Hey, but not for much longer. I think I'm getting there. Despite all the passage of time, we're still here in this space. Yep. And I'm John. And I'm Rick. And I'm Peter. This and is Pokemon Shining Pearl. And I'm grinding, so I have a vague chance against Rick in our forthcoming showdown. Where are you at right now in terms of levels anyway? Uh, like 41 is my lowest. I thought this was your oh, fifth yeah. coming showdown. This is our hey. sixth coming showdown. Ah. Let's see what y'all did there. We are, we are, uh... Goji, your hair is in my nose, and I feel unpleasant now. So the funny part is, a while back, so I owned, Bru uh, Brilliant Diamond, I owned Goodbye. Pokemon Diamond for the DS at some point as a, as a teenager. Mm -hmm. I, I have no memories of it whatsoever, but one day I turned it on and saw that I had made it basically this far into the game when I just oh. stopped. It wasn't good. Yeah, I, like, I remembered being like, I'm not having fun with this. Yeah, I'm going I think, to stop. Which, uh, in mm -hmm. some ways, makes the fact that this is the most faithful remake w yeah. the, mo the biggest bummer. I yeah. was excited to hear they were remaking it. Yeah, especially because like because I thought Sapphire, they were remaking it. Well, Ruby and they had Sapphire a lot of room to be doing fun things because there was yep. the platinum variant of plot stuff yes. available not to using use. That is just yeah, a real that was dumb really surprising. Like, I get that they don't want to do third versions anymore. That's fine, but like. Yeah, but why not follow it. the Ruby, the Just Omega and Alpha formula and be like, okay, we're going to integrate the platinum plot line. I mean, granted, we haven't gotten to the end of this. I don't know if you've if you have played through this, I Peter. Have. You have. Okay, so I guess confirmation that the platinum stuff doesn't really come in. Not really. Okay. And like that was kind of my hope for this at, at minimum was like, okay, work that in, make it a singular story that you can get the whole thing. But I don't know. I'm hoping that in a world of now. Scarlet, Violet, and even Sword and Shield, where it's like, okay, we're going to do DLC to expand on these stories. I'm hoping that this is the last time we get a remake that feels this... I, I don't want to say bare bones, but that does kind of... It is kind of what it is, it's sort totally of. Bare. Compare this to Omega Ruby. And that's the like, thing, right? Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, okay. I would say, is probably the better of the two. I feel like this is actually the Let's Go engine. But maybe it wouldn't with, surprise me. With I some tweaks. So much know. of the visuals feel like At they're directly the from there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Very I'm to remember, similar. Were, you, were we were we babies in uh, in Let's Go also? Yeah, it's mostly yeah. Overworld Chibi. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> were we Wait, babies? No, no, no. no, we were. It was it was a slightly chibi style, but I remember that we had full models running around. Uh, not really. I think they were pretty chibi. I mean, you could change Look your outfit on the Overworld. Is that true? Yeah. I mean, I are you wearing your hoodie on your overworld um, sprite? Let's find out. Uh, uh, after taking out this sturdy grab. Right? Which takes a whole extra a whole 15 extra, seconds. Yeah, Oop, self destruct Oh, it's going to take itself out for you. Big bang. Uh, I just got a text that said deliver. Cool. <laughs> so I guess my so burrito is You better is deliver. Here. Um, They're oh, watching these videos live right and now. You know, I remembered that we mentioned in one of the last videos that I got a hilarious text from my DoorDasher, and oh, then yeah. we forgot about it by the time we came back. So oh, for yeah. anyone still wondering, I got a text from my delivery guy that just said, Hi, I came. <laughs> 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 so that was pretty good. Cool. <laughs> so Where? He was really happy to Not deliver food, that food. Not on my food, I hope. Yeah. I mean, food was tasty, so who cares? Oh, God. <laughs> no, too Maybe far. Maybe you okay. learned something new about what kind of sauces you like on your sandwich. Yeah. You haven't fought anything except Graveler here, have uh, you? A couple of gold bats. Okay. Like, literally two. Yeah. Um, That's about the uh, r correct ratio for pretty this Pretty much, yeah. Yay, Cabarros. Okay, so you're basically mid-40s for the team right now. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm probably going to finish out this episode, and then I'll probably be done. Yeah, let me... I'm curious where my dudes are. I know that I have one at level 50. If you Lucky's got one, level 30. You got one at 50? Jesus Christ. And then I don't remember where... Well, at 30 will help, hopefully, but... Yeah, the, the one that's uh, in the position of being a catch-up is at 38. Yes. Yeah. Lucky boy. Seems curious about my fashion. That's yep. funny because we meant to look at my chibi sprite. He doesn't. He, he doesn't know about your hoodie. He's like, why isn't there a Blastoise on there? Yeah. I love. I love how many different weird statements they have there, but they all just mean the same thing. Yeah. Your Pokemon is ready to cheat for you. Yeah, which I love. I should probably uh, heal after this, so I don't accidentally lose my Blastoise to grinding. Tons of customization for that statement. It's so bizarre. Uh. Sure, let's go ahead and flash cannon for no reason. Well, because you only need to do one Boom. HP of damage. Yeah. Boom Oops, bop. it didn't do anything. 
Hi. I came. <laughs> so good. Oh, cool. <laughs> it was just... It was very fun. It's the best text I ever got from a delivery person. Yeah, that's up there for sure. I don't know if I got one that beats that. <laughs> and Apparently was, he does. It was just, hi, period. I came, period. <laughs> like, it was very, like... Oh, hey, Rick's playing uh, Brilliant Diamond. Oh, I hate that guy's shit. I mean, I hate that guy's shit, too. That's why I get rid of it as soon as I can. Oh, wow. You know what? That's... that's I see what you did there. <laughs> that's smart. I think so. Is that... Uh, could uh, throw you into sepsis if you hold on to that. <laughs> yeah. One of the one of the, one of them uh, them gross type six. The ones that are especially unpleasant. You and your sturdy. You've heard of dysentery. Now try sepsis. Yeah. So my team is SmackDown. There it is. My the team is first 50, time. 50, 48. 47, 47, 47, 38. Okay, damn, that's still so like functionally. Good. It's like 40, 48 is basically where like yeah, yeah, the yeah. median kind of is there. <coughs> oh, excuse me, my God. Great job, Goblin Hole. You got a critical hit for one hit point. I, I love mean, you, John. I think that, <laughs> that forty-seven is, is both yeah. the median and the mean. Yeah, I mean, so the mean, it is the the median for sure. The mean would be. Uh, I mean, it, I guess it depends if we're counting all of them or just the top five ones. Because the ignoring Lucky, let's see, plus three. Plus three. <coughs> it'd be a, it'd be about forty-eight for the mean, forty-seven for the median. If you counted all of them, then the then the mean would be a bit lower. It'd be like forty-four, forty-five. And while we're talking about kinds of average, the mode is also forty-seven. Yay. Yes, mode is the one that appears the most. Correct. Yeah. Median is the one that is in the center if you list them all out in order. Uh, and then the average is the average. Yeah, the, the <laughs> mean is the average. Try to remember how median works if you have an even number. If you take the average of the two in the middle or or how that works. It's been a long time since, since I've had to care. Fifth grade math. Yeah. I mean, that stuff is really useful in statistics. Um, but I don't call very well. Yay! Yeah, Have you guys two. been to uh, Route 207 yet? 207. Uh, yes. We both caught a match up. Mine is named Vic uh, Victor. John's is named Sasquatch. Who just recently is now the one I am using. Oh, yeah. No hey, squatch. No squatching. Don't squatch me. You know, I don't really need the flavor text about how they feel <laughs> every time. You're a good dad. Oh, I didn't mean that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Work, children. Work. So it's, it's not okay. a Poketch app. It is a key item. Uh, so you might have the thing that lets you refight trainers. Uh, What's it called? The Versus Seeker. Oh, the versus seeker. Nice. I don't know. Okay, so yes, the median, if you have an even number, is you take the average of the two that are in the middle together. Why is that even useful at that point? Uh, it's I, I, So you it's meant... You take the mean I'm sure of there the are, median numbers. Yeah. Right. I'm Whoops. sure there are reasons why it is, but I just can't think of one off the top of my head. Well, I mean, so like, for the example... The different kinds of averages give you different information about the statistics. Yeah. Like, yeah. if you take uh, income, right? So the yeah. mean income mm -hmm. versus the median income are giving you two super different pieces No, no, of I info. get that. I get that. But, like... But like, if, like you get, if you take the mean income, it's going to be way higher than what... So... I mean, they just needed a formalized definition for how to find the median if there's an even number of items in your set. Yeah. 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 So, because math. That's yeah, cool. Math. People like it. Yeah. Math is all about them rules. Like, in the income one, it's basically the difference between what is the average income versus what does the average person make. Right, right, right. Like, in terms of, like, you know, how you would describe that verbally, I right. guess. So those in conjunction can tell you a lot. Yeah. Because, like, Massachusetts definitely has a lot of fucking rich people. Uh, the average income, if you just average them all together, is definitely going to be much higher than what the vast majority of people in the state actually make. Of course, I think that, yeah. um, that the disparity between the mean and the median income is a reflection on the health of the society. 
I would say so. To yeah. get, Generally you speaking. know, all socialist about it. Yep. Socialish. If the if, uh, <laughs> if we've got enough, you know, billionaires in the state that it's uh, that it's ah oh, the the average income is millions of dollars and it's like okay that's clearly bullshit. Okay. Right. <laughs> right. Where is the rest of my million? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Where's the rest of my one? You owe the rest me of my first million. Nine hundred and seventy thousand yeah. dollars, please. <laughs> I would like a, uh, a six-digit number that starts with a nine, please. Yep. I don't even have to get to a million dollars. I'll I'll accept close to. Yeah. You know what? Let's just call it even yeah, at nine hundred k. Take a hundred k off the top. That's yeah, fine. That's I'm for easy. you. You get to keep that. Yeah, I get. I get the feeling you'll want to anyway. Well, have them send it to you first because that's how taxes work. Well, I guess I'm that's sure true, if yeah. everyone got a million dollars for free, they would take seven hundred thousand in taxes. So, I mean, mm. that's also you know maybe not maybe not that much, but that is the general idea with a lot of the pushes for like higher tax bracket rates and such. Just get us back to where we were when the country was really really strong, and the Ironically, corporate tax rate, the top bracket was like 80 percent. Oh, it's bigger than that. When the but uh, corporate I, tax was as high as ninety. I know. Yeah, corporate tax got up to ninety percent, and that was the point where the country was objectively financially doing really well. And it's like, yep. <laughs> then the companies were like, no, we don't want to. Yeah. We really hate this reinvesting in our people thing. Right. We just like to make money. Can you make the laws mm. so that we can just make money? Can you make us be having more money? <laughs> well, we already have money, but we want to have more than that. Is that, can we do that? In an increasingly global world, though, it's easy for them to be like, well, fuck you, America. We don't like your taxes, so we're going to operate everywhere else. And yeah. then I mean, that's lose. where you get tariffs and, and yeah. import taxes and stuff coming well, into and play. Well, and we do have, there are, there are um, agreements in place for minimum tax rates between most of the civilized world. No. Yeah. Uh, so that that doesn't happen quite so much. Right. Mm. It's hard. Running a world is hard. Running a country is hard. Yep. Fuck, running a YouTube channel is hard. We only have 17,000 people to, to worry about. And not even all of them get a vote. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> you dictator. I mean, none of them get a vote. Or any of them that vote on things when presented get a vote. But yeah, I feel like voter turnout's pretty low. Dictator Rick likes to give them things that feel yes. like a choice in the same way that Pokemon asks if you want to hear like that to again. Yes excuse, or, me. Uh -huh. yeah. excuse me while I sip <clears throat> from this Dr. Pepper Zero in, that I clench in this iron fist. <laughs> My burrito oh, shit. Just Are we getting sponsored by cool. Dr. Pepper 7 Up? No, but uh, hey, Dr. Pepper 7 Up, if you're out there and uh, you want it. Let's Wait, do is it. that really what Dr. Pepper 7 Up? No, that's oh, the, no. the that's company. The, that's oh, the okay, okay. that's the yeah, company. Yeah, Dr. Dr. Pepper 7 it's, Up is It's third third company yeah. for soda. It's the Green Party of Wait, soda. Wait, I thought I thought they were owned by Pepsi. No. No, no they get along Dr. really Pepper well with gets them. Bottle both. has bottling arrangements with both Pepsi and Coca-Cola depending on the region you're in. Yeah. Dr. Madness. Pepper gets bottled by either. Oh, sorry, Keurig's in the mix too now. I think for Keurig the, is for also Dr. part Pepper's of. Oh, I haven't up. had their soda yet. Well, no, they own Dr. I'm Pepper and Seven Up. No, so you put you the have. Dr. Pepper yeah. and the Seven Up <laughs> into the into the top like reservoir, and you'll trickle that <laughs> through your cake. <laughs> up. No, thank you, please. Yep. I, you know, I might enjoy a Dr. Pepper themed K cup though, like a hot cider drink, but you can see Dr. That. Peppery. I mean, like Dr. Pepper always had oh, like they very, have geodudes. Wow, here, damn! Always had very plumish sort of. Notes to it, I guess you could say. Sure, they're not gonna say yes or no if you ask them if it's oh, sure. plum, but yeah. yeah, it's got that kind of like deeper, almost fruity kind of those, taste in the cola. I believe those twenty-three flavors are still trade secret as their yeah. method of keeping them. Well, Ironically, so, it's the same as uh, Colonel Sanders herbs and spices. Well, so it's funny you should mention that because <laughs> legally they have to divulge what the ingredients are. They are not legally required to divulge the amounts of anything. Right, it's the ratios that you don't get to. Yeah, know, but yeah. because that would, if you knew the ratios, you could just replicate what they have. Yeah, but if you know the stuff, can't you just put some trial and error in? Uh, yes, yes. The problem then <laughs> is, can. and that's how Doctor Thunder came about. And yeah. Mr. Pibb. <laughs> that's the trick: is that you spend a long time experimenting and go close enough, and you I go cool. I wish my name was Dr. Thunder. That fucking rules. Right. Uh, I'm trying to remember. There was also like, Ma I think Mountain Thunder is also a Mountain Dew off-brand as well. Just put Thunder in anything. It gets better. Yeah. We're the Thunder Pad now. It's fucking rad. There we go. Uh, what the hell was I going to say? Oh, also, sidebar, it's weird to me that steel types are not weak to electricity. I guess the idea is that like steel, like 
a, a metal a metal conductor isn't like negatively impacted generally by electricity passing through it. I mean, so large enough electricity and it mostly doesn't pass through it. It, it follows the skin it effect. Up and it actually hugs the outside because uh, it's it's designed it's the least resistance on the in the air to be it like the number of available slots in the outer valence level means that yeah. the electrons can just sort of like whiz by on the outer edge of the. Uh, crystal structure yep. of as the metal. opposed to having to pass through the. Metallic. I was at the I'm, Museum of Science recently. I'm ah. gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and say that Nintendo wasn't thinking that when they chose the typing. And uh, I got yeah. my refresher for the 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 electricity show at the. That, nice. That oh yeah, the, with the giant, uh, eighty foot Van de Graaff generators. Yeah, those are great. It's so old and still so cool. Yeah, that thing just has a loop of carpet on the inside of it, and it's. That's, that's I love it. it. It's so it's so ridiculous. And it, like it always struck me as being like before I took, you know, EM courses in high school and college, it was like, oh, this is scary shit. This dude's gonna lightning himself to death and explode. And it's like, oh, okay, getting taught about Van Graaff generators and Faraday cages and all that stuff. And it's like, oh, okay, all right, yeah, I get and, it now. And the classic, very practical demonstration of getting inside a human-sized bird cage yep. and letting thunder strike the cage on the other side of the metal right next to your finger. Yep, and it's not even just like... Or sorry, lightning. Yeah, it's not even just like, it oh, we'll thunder. do it once and it'll go bang. It's like, no, it's they lift it up like he's in a supervillain's lair yeah. and it goes, crack, crack. Crack, 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 crack. It's just a literal, like... Yeah, they get close enough, and they can get it charged up enough that it's, like, two, three times a second that it's hitting the cage. It gets to a point where it's less like individual lightning strikes of electricity passing through, and more like you're just watching the actual plasma form of lightning just... or of electricity just kind of hanging out while immense amounts of electricity are passing from the generators to the cage. And then, what, like, up through the chain through, like, a grounding thing or something? I forget how they do it. Everything's but. properly grounded. That's, yeah. that's the, the targets in the theater. Yeah. yeah. They all go to... I mean, properly grounded just means it goes to a wire that connects to a hole in the ground. Yeah. That's the funniest thing to me when it comes to electricity is that, like, when they say grounding, they mean it pretty fucking literally. It's just like, yeah, you, you do that and it just disperses because it goes kind of everywhere just at connected once. to the ground. Yeah. Yep. I actually... My... <laughs> My shop at King Richard's Fair was not properly grounded. So, oh, no. <laughs> so I staked a wire into the ground and connected it to the ground terminal on my plugs. And As now a, my shop is grounded. That is a good call. And, like, hilarious that that is all that that requires, really. is like, yep, literally just connect it to the dirt and we're basically good. Hmm. Is the idea that it's, like, traveling through the moisture in the soil in, like, a spherical kind of... Thing or so the the Earth at large was the original target of the of the for oh, a lightning strike in general or for the electricity the the Earth is a big capacitor yeah so it, it is hungry for big all fucking of the metal ions. ball covered in lo- covered in lava and dirt right it that's why ninety percent of the lightning goes to the ground yeah. from the clouds there's occasionally one that fires off into space yeah. by the way but um, massive I think the the Thunder clouds are extremely negatively charged. Cheer up, thunder clouds. And the electron and electrons are being essentially sent at light speed or very close to it to the ground to oh, wow. even out the difference there. Onyx. Oh, Onyx. Yeah, hey. Can I catch this? Uh, it's the first thing I've seen in. Are here. you an Iron Island right now? Yeah. I don't think I caught anything. Yeah, you haven't caught anything. I think this is legit. Valid catch. Yeah, valid catch. Now, how do I not kill it? That is a you problem. <laughs> I don't know. Is Rock Tomb going to be not very effective enough? I know, right? If this kills it, then I didn't want him anyway. Oh, there look. You go. get like oh, five, you're good. five attacks with that. Well, oh, sorry. Defense is defense dropping. Down. Oh, no. Speed down. All right. You're good then. Oh, no. Oh, your defense is That's going down. Oh. I got some levels on him. And wow. Oh, that's right. Screech is harsh. Ooh, that's not good. It is. I'll, I'll be somewhat careful. Well, I don't think this guy gets explosion, does he? Oh, no, wait. They do. Do they? Oh, shit. I remember Onyx is getting explosion. Well, if he explodes, that's really going to put a damper on my plans to catch him. Slightly, yeah. Okay, I'm going to switch out because I don't yeah, want two screeches seems... and an explosion to ruin my day. Yeah, that seems extraordinarily dangerous. Uh, Excuse me. Pokemans. Goblin hole. 
You seem fine. Oh, they they don't. You're good. Yeah, they don't they don't learn. Well, explosion. two screeches. I might as well be cautious. Yeah. I didn't. I don't want to tank a three episodes of grinding just because right. I was lazy. That would be hilarious. The uh, worst things have happened. Remember that time oh, I man. killed my own Gengar? Yeah, <laughs> hey, another I spot that. where the Edgar clip gets to go in. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's not gonna hit Edgar too, is it? It is. No. no! Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> you should just have a hotkey for that, Rick. And I'm getting close. <laughs> in a special folder. I wouldn't getting be close. surprised. Getting uh, close. I don't see. know. Did you watch the with. premieres of the uh, of the Star Force videos Me? before you were here? No, I was oh, driving. yeah. Because <laughs> I was in there. I was driving, so I didn't watch. No, the clip is not there, but it was referred to. It was referenced. To. What, why was Star Force a big debut? Just because peop people are like huge on the Battle Network and Star Force videos in general, so they weird. have been uh, they've been chomping for a while. Bit. They they've been that's so funny because I feel like they're our worst. <laughs> no, I mean I'm part kidding. of it. Part of it know. is just like the direction we've gone with it, really. But have you made it weird? Like, oh yeah, what very. are you doing with it? <laughs> what well, this does not seem to be working. It's completely voice acted now because yep. of the efforts of uh, Rick and Jeff. Yeah, Jeff and I have gone Oh, that I remember. I full remember, bore remember. on like voice acting every line and ad-libbing frequently for comedic effect. Does this lock well. me in? I don't know. I don't, I don't think out. it does. Oh, thank goodness for quick claw. <laughs> well, I really should go get my burrito that's been sitting out there for half an hour. Um, uh, this episode's almost over. I was yeah, going to say, it'll as soon as this battle with is a catch done. or a fail, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Dodge it. Is anything happening? Hello? Guys? Right, I'll do one more and then I'll start hucking balls. He tried to yell at you, but oh. it was a directional yell. And your blast voice is very sneaky, apparently. <laughs> Sand tune. All right. Wow. Hail Goblin Hole is a huge cheater. This has been like every turn that you got a cheat Just off. about, yeah. Dude, I love it. <laughs> no, I don't. Come on, love me. For no some effing reason. around. Just uh, straight to the ultra ball. Come on. I, I even held up and B. Ah, uh, there's your problem. It's down in A. Yeah. Okay. Where are you from? Opposite world. Uh, the universe with no feet. Ah, uh, that explains yeah, it. Yeah, sounds right. All right. I'll do down in A. It did uh, make a funny you sound. You don't have feet. Up is just down, really. Hey. Hey. Oh fuck! What's now a mythological rock snake, or just a um, serpent of any sort? Yeah, there's would work. tons of serpents. Give me some. My brain is Help feeling tired. How about Midgar Zormer? I already have Jormungandr. <laughs> or yeah, but you have to tell people that that is the same thing. Uh, let's. See. Actually, you don't have Jormungandr. Uh, Ouroboros is cute. Ouroboros would be a, would be one that makes sense. I don't too. have a Jormungandr yet. No, I think you had that in a previous run. That uh, feels right. Knowing me. Because, I mean, a Midgar Zormer is basically an Earth Snake, right? So Midgar Zormer means... Yeah, Earth Snake, I think. Oh. Uro... Specifically, this realm Earth. Yeah, the realm Midgar. of Earth, not dirt. But, you know. Ouroboros? Ouroboros. All right. <laughs> that's my favorite anime. Be like that. Amazing. Uh, box. Uh, Until I get a metal coat, put your the snake box. in the box. Watching Bobo it's a Bobo snake Bobo. In a box. All right, we're gonna uh, take a quick break so we'll I can go get my food, and we'll be back for one more grinding, and then probably that's it. Bye.